bring them down, and then you know try to uh, take the chaff from the wind, and then you can end up having a player like Ibrahim's history uh, from Basse. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a program, and before a program can happen, there has to be structures. Mm -hmm. Now this constitution is calling for seven regional leagues. Mm -hmm. How are you going to go about mm -hmm. organizing seven regional leagues? Now, in areas such as Banjul mm -hmm. and the KM, and some part of Western Division, mm -hmm. you might argue that, okay, there are fairly uh, reasonable infrastructural developments, football-wise, mm -hmm. that can allow uh, any reasonable, a semblance of a reasonable good regional league. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you head towards uh, the, the regions, mm -hmm you have a problem. Mm. And one of the basic problems, of course, infrastructure. Mm. Uh, the standard ones are not there. Mm. You see the whole district sharing a big field, for example, in one, you know, uh, one big village or one big mm. town. Mm. Those areas have to be upgraded. Mm. And how do you transport football teams from one and place to the other to the other one? Mm. All those things have to be worked out. Of course, there's only one very good element in it. Mm it is going to be very easy mm. to create fanfare mm. because peop the teams there will be identified with communities mm. or villages mm. or districts. Mm. Um, for example, if Jara East players, um, in any regional league, you can expect people from Barokunda, Boreng, Jara Sutukum and others all coming to behind that mm. team. Mm. That is possible. Mm. Uh, if, if also uh, Badibu, a team in Badibu also plays, you can all the Badabunkas will come there. Mm -hmm. And if it is a, 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 you know, a private team in a town, mm -hmm. you can expect the people of that town also to be behind mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. team. So it will encourage this community mm -hmm. football we have been talking about, about the mm -hmm. kind of feeling you get from Super mm -hmm. That might be easily available in the regionals. Mm -hmm. But then the organization, the personnel who are going to officiate mm -hmm. the match, the capacity, mm -hmm. referees, mm -hmm. You know, coaches, coaches mm. stuff like that. All this needs a lot of security, work. <laughs> uh, security and stuff yeah. like that. All this needs to be put in place, mm. and, and that's what what makes the job of the GFF uh, very very big challenge. Yeah. You know, they yeah. are the first leaders mm. to confront this kind of uh, mm. job mm. In, in in revolutionizing our football. Mm. If they succeed, mm. our MS, mm. uh, you can see a very strong football in Malaysia in Gambia. In the Gambia. Because you know, football we talk about mm. will be a program from cut on to coin. coin and obviously we can see that this small nation can produce very good footballers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we would go further. further. That is the work that is, you know, mm -hmm. behind, uh, in ahead of them. That's why perhaps it is timely that you have a visit mm -hmm. from FIFA officials who we're going to talk about, yeah. uh, perhaps. So as Ibrahim said, uh, it is important for the structures mm -hmm. to be implemented and the, and the work of the GFM, very, very important. Yeah, like he said, um, he talked about uh, an overview because it's really complex. It's complex in the sense that um, we talked about football because all the human resource competence are within the greater Banyul area. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the facilities that are available, mm -hmm. are all situated and located mm -hmm. within the greater Banyul area. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, replicate mm -hmm. uh, the, the competency around here, mm -hmm to the regions, mm -hmm. it would require um, a lot of um, intelligent work mm -hmm. in the sense that um, you, like some of the program we are looking at the GFF mm -hmm. is um, looking at um, how we can resuscitate mm -hmm. the human resource capacity ar across the referees, mm -hmm. coaches, mm -hmm. medical men, mm -hmm. mic officials. Administration. Mm -hmm. So if you look at in abundance, mm -hmm. we have it within the greater Banyul area, mm -hmm. but less mm -hmm. in the regional. Mm -hmm. we, if you look at the people here who are quite adequate in football administration and other um, human resource capacity, mm -hmm. most of them, 80% mm -hmm. are from the regions. Mm -hmm. But would they go back to the regions to take their rightful position? I, I hardly see that. This mm -hmm. uh, Maybe the yeah. jury is still out on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So what we need to do, what the GFF need to do, mm -hmm is to embark on a one-year or two years capacity mm. or capacitization mm. building mm. for these various departments. Mm. So while they are doing the concurrent league, they must play. Yeah. What kind of league they would play? Mm -hmm. Because if you want them to play at the level of the federation, you all have to be on the same level, the same page. Mm -hmm. For them to be on the same page, they have to 
have that argument in the head. Mm -hmm. So my understanding or my assumption is that would take us for another two years mm -hmm. to make sure these people have gotten this process of development mm -hmm. so that we can all be on the same page. Mm -hmm. So by the time they are at the same page, mm -hmm. what kind of competition they will be playing? Mm -hmm. And when we go to the same page, mm -hmm. what is going to be the complexity of the competition? Mm -hmm. It all needs study. So mm -hmm. I think the time that we're going to give ourselves, we, this is what is important. So that's, I keep talking to my people. Mm -hmm. We need to come to the people mm. to tell them because for them they are in a hurry that we should do this we should do this mm. we should do that mm. but you need to identify the software first and when you identify the software then you start to know where they go in place mm -hmm. and put them don't put the cart before the horse so but you have to come out use like you people are doing i can see the media is so much a friendly figure to the gff they could use the media very well to make sure they sell their program and inform the media, the people through the media about what stages they are, what they anticipate to do, how will they will do it in this stage so that people cannot come up with um, formal or draw to a conclusion with their own opinions. This uh, really, um, MS, I wish you are in the structure and to know what you are facing or what we are facing. And uh, I am hopeful, I mean, the media is our only chance. The media is our only chance to come out to say, well, we have this, we have this, we have this, this is what we want to do, this is what we want to do, we anticipate to do this. Do you understand? To inform the media as the steps come through. I, I can see the next four years, we will not be in a position to adequately in, uh, implement the constitution. But the structure should be there, the, in the performance indicators should be there. And the idea that uh, a layman can sit down and say, yes, this should work, so this should be given another chance. This is, to me, this is a challenge for the GFF. <laughs> Anyway, I know there is a lot of work to be done. Uh, that is the way forward. But I believe um, we need to have a special program on one of the multi-sports to adequately talk about the new GFF structures, what needs to be done, the mindset informed, because it also requires the changing of the mindset of yeah. the people from the FA to the Football Federation. So I believe we will um, look uh, into our subsequent programs and talk uh, make that the topic of discussions and, 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 and because it's very important. Um, we now move to the two FIFA officials who are currently in the country. The first uh, FIFA envoy in the Gambia since the uh, election, the July 1st elections. Mr. Chambu, are these two gentlemen in the country? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. FIFA, uh, FIFA's development officer mm -hmm. for this region. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Zampong Kablang, um, he's responsible for development uh, affairs uh, from FIFA for all this region right down to the Ivory Coast where he's based. He's an Ivorian himself. Um, he is in the country with a gentleman uh, directly from Zurich, the headquarters of uh, FIFA, uh, called Christoph Supila, something like that. Um, you, you never know how this uh, <laughs> pronounce their name, but that's how it is written. Um, and he is a very important person mm -hmm. aspect because, um, let's say, Kablan supervises, approves, and monitors FIFA goal projects, mm -hmm. such as we have benefited um, quite um, a lot mm -hmm. from the FIFA goal project mm -hmm. development. Um, you know, of course, the National Technical Training Center in Yundum mm -hmm. it was probably the first one. Mm -hmm. Later on, we have um, artificial tufts mm -hmm. uh, tuff. mm -hmm. in, in that place. One has been planned there, and in Brikama, mm -hmm. and even the even the football house mm -hmm. where, where we are we are now mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. and where everything's happening. Uh, b before that, mm -hmm. the football association was uh, hiring, mm -hmm. uh, you know, rooms, rather offices at the independent stadium. Mm -hmm. Now they have a place they call the football, football house. house. Mm -hmm. so thanks, of course, to the government because government. Uh, give them the land, land and it was an allocation mm. but yes fifa came in and fund uh, you know a magnificent edifice mm. which has been used today as a foot football house mm. office mm. now all this comes under the purview of uh, mr kablan mm. that's why he's very important mm. to the country mm. and we have just talked about the uh, need for infrastructures mm. uh, so as to implement within the coming four years or how long it might take mm. uh, the regional structures so you see the GFA might have to deal with Kablan, uh, you know, as they seek assistance mm. to put in this kind of infrastructures mm. across the country. Mm. So it is very good that uh, the GFA, the new leadership, are in the good books of Mr. Kablan. Okay. 
obviously. Yeah. And, and I, I know 